Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy my video today, please subscribe. And if you click on the bell next to the subscribe button, you will be notified each time I post a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing my process to make this layout. I'll first apply a coat of transparent gesso to my background cardstock because I plan on using quite an amount of wet medium on this layout. I'm using a brush to apply the gesso and um, I'm not looking for a very thick coat here. I'd like it as thin as possible so it doesn't take too long to dry but I want a good coverage. Now that the background is dry I'm going to use this Kayser Craft 12 by 12 inch template called Lattice to apply a coat of modelling paste through the centre 8 inches of this layout. I'm not going right to the top or the bottom. I'm applying it with a palette knife but you could of course use an old credit card if you prefer that method. I'm going to use these pearlescent watercolours to colour my background. I'm going to use two shades of pink, one lighter than the other. First I spray my card with water and then using quite a large brush I apply the first colour which is a fairly pale pink. Then I move into a darker pink. I allowed that to dry and then I used some Dilutions Rose Quartz ink spray and a brush to add some colour to the background to give it a bit more depth. I applied the paint, the spray and then sprayed it generously with some water to get the drips and runs. This also brings out the pattern of the texture paste. Because my photo is so dark, I've filed around the edge of it to give it a small white border and I've cut a photo mat that is a quarter of an inch wider and a quarter of an inch longer than my photo. My next step is to use some stays on ink and an assortment of thin border stamps to create some vertical lines on the layout. I'm using the small dots from this set and also the hearts and flowers and I'm using the checkered border and the doodle type border from this sketch set. I used my acrylic stamp block because the stamps are actually too long to try and manage without one so I just stamp here and there all over to give some more vertical line to this layout. To finish the background off I add some splatters here and there using the Rose Quartz Dilutions ink and some Black Magic Glimmer Mist. I've cut some three quarter inch strips of pattern paper from this assortment to use in my layout. I have cut the strips to various lengths and I have inked around all of the edges. I'm now just playing around to, to decide where I want to put the pattern papers, how I'm going to set them out. I'll play around with the photo to see where that might go and how that would affect my layout of my pattern papers. So I've uh, finally decided where to put the papers and I have stuck them down using both double sided tape and wet glue because of the gesso in the background. When I go to attach the photo I decide that it gets lost amongst the papers and add a small black mat to the photo giving it an extra eighth of an inch all the way around. Then I attach the photo using foam tape to give it some dimension 
and lift it off of the background. I then cut a quarter of an inch off of the top and off of the bottom of my layout and added a thin black strip of plain cardstock to make it back up to the 12 inches. To make my journaling spot I'm using this die and I'm cutting a piece of patterned paper with that scalloped edge and inking the edge and then putting that under the photo leaving myself room to write the journaling that applies to this photo. I'm going to use these glitter stickers to finish off my journaling. They are going to say Katy Perry. This layout is about my daughter taking my granddaughter to Melbourne to see the Katy Perry concert. So now I've decided that I would like a bit of border down the side so I'm just using my black ink pad to go along the edge. And I am basically going to call that layout finished. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see my new videos as they become available. I would love it if you would share my videos with your friends. I love reading your comments too, so please don't forget to leave one for me.